Shabbat Shalom everyone. This week we are reading Parshat Masay in Israel, the last parsha in the book of Bamidbar. And it's interesting, it talks about the cities of refuge in this week's parsha, the Ir Miklat. So what is this place? So basically, if someone grossly and uh, negligently murders someone else through accident where it was his uh, negligence that caused it, the person the, the person's family are allowed to avenge his blood until the person runs to the city of refuge and enters there. And then the person will be safe until the passing of the high priest, the Kohen Gadol. So the person can ask, why is it related, the passing of the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, and this negligent gross murder? What's the connection together? So in Mesechet Makot, the Rashi, the commentator Rashi actually states that it's partly the Kohen Gadol, the high priest's fault, why this, these negligent murders are taking place. Maybe he hasn't been doubling hard enough, praying hard enough, and hasn't set a good enough example through his tefillah, through his Torah, through his leadership throughout that period. So because of his, uh, his lack of leadership, let's just say, wh whichever uh, department it's in, it's leading to these uh, gross negligences that uh, have taken place. So he is blamed and only they are released from his passing. However, Maimonides, the Rambam actually relates over that uh, no one can fi feel the, the, the pain the family is going through when someone passed away through sheer negligence. No one can empathize with them. No one, uh, they've got no answer. They're crying they're inside. They've got nothing to answer. And the only thing is a vengeance. That's the only uh, remedy they would, might uh, feel there is to them. However, when the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, passed away, everyone can empathize straight to him because everyone is sad in Israel that the Kohen Gadol passed away. Everyone is uh, sharing in a pain, is crying, and is uh, devastated. And, and then only then when the Kohen Gadol passes away, the family itself feel they've got someone to empathize and they won't need to necessarily uh, lead to a vengeance at that point in time once the Kohen Gadol passed away. And that's why they are going to be released at that point in time. So may I wish you all a fantastic Shabbat. This is dedicated to Rufuash Lema of Yechaz Kelvin Enjoy.